These cats look like they've got the cream, but how did they get their patchy fur? In fact, the phenomenon is caused by a disease, albeit a benign one. Piebaldism is the result of mutation in a gene called kit. It's seen in cats, dogs, horses and cows. Occasionally human hair is affected. Melanocyte cells in the early embryo fail to migrate correctly, causing regions of the skin and hair to lack pigment. British mathematical biologist Dr Christian Yates led a study which challenges conventional thinking on why this happens. Traditionally people thought that cells didn't make it to the front of these embryos to, to pigment the, the front of the belly because they just weren't migrating fast enough. And actually what we've been able to show through our study is actually, if anything, cells in piebald animals migrate faster, but they're just not proliferating enough. In the study's first stage, biologists studied how mouse embryo cells were moving and dividing. Their biological hypothesis was then transferred to a mathematical model. But what we've been able to tank tease out from the mathematical model is actually, it's not necessarily that these cells are migrating in a directed way, actually these cells are diffusing. They're, there's no direction to their migration. So it's like when you put a drop of milk into a cup of coffee, that you haven't stirred, eventually that milk will be spread evenly throughout your coffee. And these cells are doing the same sort of thing. They're moving in an undirected manner and eventually, slowly, they manage to fully colonise this uh, domain of this animal, so they, they fully pattern the skin. Piebaldism is one of a group of defects called neurochristopathies, some of which manifest themselves in human deafness, heart problems and cancer of the nervous system. The study, published in Nature Communications, could help scientists better understand such serious conditions. Now they've told us how Kitty here got her spots.